Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are just finishing off a quick site contract. Uh, just to get a bit of extra income in. So we need to head out of here and go to Tamsaurus which is just around the corner from here. So yeah, we've done a contract on Field 32. This contract itself is worth 14 and a half grand or is it 147? Something on the loose lines. All close, 14.3. And we've got 130,000 litres of bells. Attempted to do the contract on 79. May accept it and do it later on, but we're going to do it at the moment. Because we've got some work to do today. We need to plough up the fields. Uh, what was it? Yeah, one of the grass fields at least ploughing. And then seed it. But yeah, so... Oh, no, going the wrong way here. We should have gone left, not right. Bear with me a sec. And with that little remedy corrected, put the houses on here, so we need to go up here. And then take a right, let's see, here. No, that's a driveway. Oops. Take a right here. Oh, I'm going over there. You've got entire roads there. Come on. Oh, there we go. I am not in the way. <laughs> Screw you! But hey, who? So, as I was saying, 132,000 litres, and we're going to sell all the signage. Yeah, we could keep it to get TMR now, but as you've mentioned in the last episode, what we're going to do is just get some cheap bells in, and they would subside for us for what our needs are. But hey, who? So yeah, let's go over here. And we'll sell all these bills. And there we go, that is so that's a nice little sum of money for us. There we go. So currently at 120 grand, so as mentioned we need to Plow up 54 because it needs plowing, it needs lime. If you have a look here, see so, yeah, it plowing and lime. Obviously, our didn't see Phil needs plowing up afterwards, but we'll worry about that afterwards. Checking the fertilizer state. And I just want to double check. Yeah, so they've just been harvested, so we've done it in this month. So we're good to cut it. Not cut it, I'm good to plow. And we'll have time to get done today. I didn't have the times up there. My bad. Yeah, we should be ready to get a another cut in September. But you who, I'll get back to the farm sec, put this all away. And then we'll get cracking on with the plowing. And there we go, just gone past one o'clock, so we've got the 9.30 here hook of the plow. And we've leased a rock picker, we leased the Erdo Scorpio 710. Big working width, so that makes short work of the, uh, what's it, rock picking. And we're going to be plowing both fields. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing today, is just plow, rock pick, mulch. I should know, it doesn't need mulching. Nope, we need to do the mulching first. Mulch, plow. Yeah, so the process is mulch, plow, rock pick. And then we'll. Depends on the texture now. We may need to roll it once to get a smooth surface for us. 
either the rock picking should leave a cultivated state. If that does, then you know what? I'll leave it at that, and then we can just go and direct seed in. Or direct to seed in. Uh, where's my roller? It's pretty big, you can't miss it. It's like 20 meters long when expanded. Is it in here? Ah, yeah, there go. left in there for some reason. Anywho, let's back this baby up. Ah, we'll get this hooked up. Okay. And check in. Yep, pins in correctly. All the hoses seem to be connected. Let's go! Now, can I get this out first time in first person? Oh, I was going to say yes. Alright, that's fine. Just a minor adjustment needs to do in. There we go. Scraping the rubber. Hey, is that the wrong way of scraping a little bit of rubber? rollers on, bear with me a sec. There we go, with the correct rollers on now, so I've got the mulch rollers. Also spent a grand just quickly servicing the 930. But yeah, I really do think it's time to put put this tractor out of service. So I've got to remember this goes yeah, expands double, so So let that get into place. There we go, just back it up. Just got to be delicate not to hit anything. Like that. <laughs> As I say that. There we go, I do like that. So now we are mulching. Mulching the grass fields. And if we have a look at a comparison, you tell that's been mulched. And that hasn't, so that's instantly growing. And in theory, we shouldn't have to fertilize this field again because that's already been done. It's already 100% fertilized. Well, I'll get away from the fences. But yeah, also, the reason why I service it, because I want to see how much wear working these two fields does in. In essence, that's costing us. There we go. And that's me. Once we do the heads in, it's going to be easier to work this. It's just get around the edges between the hedgerows and all the fences. There we go mulched. And then it's just a case of continuing on. Small field ain't gonna take as long but I think this will require a few time, lap time lapses in this episode so yeah I'll crack on, get this done as I always do and I'll see you folks once we're done.
there we go. So what we've gone done is done the plowing on this field along with the mulching. We've mulched this field. I missed a bit over there, but I'm not too worried about that. But anywho, we'll get the worker on the plowing up here. Whilst we start doing the rock picking down here, so it's divide and conquer. And we'll get a lot of stone from this. And as before, we will just shove them somewhere, and when it's a good time to sell them, perhaps we will sell them. Unless we, I don't know, get like a stone crusher line production in. Then we use the stones to get our own line. We just find a little corner, just dump this, and then, or even worst case scenario, get a bucket and dump it somewhere, like a little shed or something, or just a corner on the land. Doesn't have to be anywhere specific, so. Yeah, actually, I think that will work out. But yeah, it's also been thinking about, obviously, with the whole 930 which we're using at the moment. Fair enough to where it hasn't gone down too much, but fair enough to see who done the rolling. Hasn't really had to use the power of the PTO in that. That's what we're doing now with the rock picker, I think. I oh, know, I should do it. My correction, actually, PTO drive. No. But still, with this. Yeah, I was going to be maybe missing some bits. I should have done this section here right, it was just the mulching we struggled with, we're going over certain areas. There's that flexibility in the roller that prevented us from doing that, but. Careful the pylons, they're being a real nemesis for me today. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm half tempted. I was only going to go all class now. I'm open to different equipment, whether it's John Deere, Case, or whatever. I need to go for a little Massey, a Massey 8 series. 7 series, we'll go with if it comes up in the used market. However, really, an 8 series would be better because that's when we can get the horsepower as well. We'll miss a bit of town over here as well. Not a worry. But yeah, I was sort of thinking, if we stop here a sec, if we go into the deer ship, under large tractors, we need something 300 plus horsepower, so pretty much any of these would survive. So we're looking at, again, quarter of a mil, we're already established that situation. But we need something that can ideally do front and rear, unless we... Uh, what's the horsepower of that? The 650. Ooh, actually. Or oh, not 8 series, 870, 800. So we'll have the smallest engine. But that. Ah, actually. I may go with that, actually. Because again, what's the horsepower requirements of our mowers? 2.30 and 8 series which we use initially goes up to 2.95 and just for an extra 15 grand we can get to 2.35 that's when their cost goes up significantly by another 50, well, 14 and a half grand there actually I'm going to go with that now Sure, why not? So we want the two three five engine. Not sure, okay, we'll get to work on that. Hopefully it knows what it's doing. But yeah. Six fifty's nice. Or do we just keep it? Have two decent working horse tractors until we get what we want, which is a Massey Ferguson, perhaps. So I've been looking around. Or 
or even the fence. If the fence comes up second hand, maybe just because of the high prices. But something like this, eight eight seven hundred, two hundred, not three hundred and twenty five horsepower for a quarter of a mil, and then we could go up to four three five. And yeah, it's similar with the others. You can get flotation tires if you want. And the reason why I want to go with that is we want a bader now. I want to upgrade a bader. Because the silage is really only for contracts, so. But even now, we can always lease baders enough for the contracts. Where is it to? There we go. I want the Master Ferguson 2234. That does 120 by 80 centimeter bells. Whilst that does 120 by 90, so these are the Heston bells. A good old Heston beater. 200 horsepower. You can get flotation on these as well. Obviously, that we're looking at 380 grand. We'll have that money over the winter for sure. But we need to pay off the loan again. Why do I keep on doing this to myself? Spending money on equipment, but... For this, it actually makes sense, because like, if we look at the value... ...of this... Actually, you know what? Let's get a record going on now. So we're not having to go back and forth and everything. If we go to... It's only worth 52 grand. Compared to the 650, which is 59 grand, and that's more expensive. But again, that's because we've almost hit 50 hours, so it makes sense, right? But yeah, so what? Actually, we'll pick this up. There we go. And yes, it's second hand, and that's going to be the problem with us is buying second hand equipment. But something old, something new, and all that. Ideally, I like to buy these brand new. But that's the thing. We're always going to be constantly changing equipment, training equipment for slightly newer ones or even brand new ones. If we get the Massey in, that is set us up for, I would say, a decent part of the remainder of the series. At uh, some point, we may have to change the Massey, upgrade it. Or even heck, it trade it in for a similar model. We could do that with the 930, but again, I don't know what the cost that's going to be. But having a matchy red and red Massey B of set up, I don't like that actually, but. Because, like, the field beans, I'm going to sell those this time next year, June, July. I'm going to get four grand for every thousand liters. And plus all the sites work we're going to be doing. When they start breeding that, we'll be making money because what we'll do then is simply let the cows grow up. As soon as they hit 36 months, same with the sheep. We'll sell those and we'll just keep newer ones and we'll just keep that rotating off value in cattle. And then Bob's your uncle. That's how we make our money in that, is just keep on rotating the animals. I may go with pigs, I do want chickens. Or do we say now, before the value goes even worse, we sell the 930. I think the test for that. Actually, if we repair this, if we can hook this up to the roller, if that works and that manages it fine, then really that's the only equipment, besides from the drill, from the planter, that's going to hold us back. Potentially, right? Ah, it's gone. What have you gone over here for? Fair enough, it's done rock picking over here, or I got sorry on that. But I didn't want you to do that. I want you to go 
we were here to do this fill first, so then again, switch around the workers, get the cedar go. But hey, so I think enough ramblings could be going on here. Time for another time lapse, and yeah, we'll get this finished off, and I'll see you folks once we start doing the seeding. And there we go, so that is the last of the rocks being picked from the two fields, so yeah, I'll say overall, not too bad, apart from some issues with the workers and that, but hey, it happens sometimes, so can't go this way, so I have to go around, still trying to fill myself with the yard and that, but yeah, also we are losing light quickly, there we go. But yeah, so let's go over here where we've been keeping our rocks. Keep them in one place, so... Yeah, I'll say we've got a nice little pile going on over here. Say so that was, was it four, five, five or six loads? So yeah, not too bad of a amount, actually. And there we go, so back it up. Was unloading correctly. There we go. And that is perfect. So 
with the Stone Crusher, so where is that to? Ah, there it is, right there, so. It's a Stone Crusher, but it produces a line, and there's a tank above it for water to go in. So, yeah, not too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, I try to think of where we could place this. I think it would only be like a temporary thing. Do we want to do it over here next to the campsite and that? But I'll try to think of. Hmm, maybe somewhere here on the site? Yeah, something like that. 25 grand plus a couple of hundred quid for landscaping. I'll try to think of something else. Like over here perhaps? Well, that's going to be a lot of landscaping needed. How about over here? Try places. No. I think, regardless, some terrain editing is required. Unless we. Uh, I don't want to get it temporarily because we have to, we end up losing 12 and a half grand alone. How about there? Next is sheep. Not ideal. What about if we place it over here, not on our fields, but over here perhaps, you know, have a little small production area going. Yeah, I think something like that would do us nicely and yeah, so I'm looking at some of these productions like, ooh, production for pig food. A small couple of our produces, so we can even get fruit production. So that is his and tomatoes. We're going to do grapes here, but we get more sauce and salad. Even if we get when we do the rape seeds, small rape seed oil production. Uh, maybe hold off on that, but yeah, just a couple of options. See what else we've got here available. Not much. Make our own fuel. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, none of those repeat our interest for now. But anyways, we'll get this return to the dealership sec. Now, I'll see if I have a hitch on the front. Now, we'll just push it across. There we go. But yeah, the dealership actually is going to be closed now, so if you can, what? Place it over here for now. And we'll go ahead and return that in the morning. But now. We need to start seeding, so once again, look who up. There's the chops going there. Let's get around and have a look, make sure everything's connected properly. Did mount it on a bit of an angle, but yeah, everything's right. All the hoses are good, connectors are fine. Pin is firmly in place, and yeah, I said there's chocks for the wheels there. So, yep, got grass selected. Got it programmed here at the computer, so it should be putting down the right amount of seeds we need. But yeah, let's go get this move out of the way. Just slightly move it down here. And yeah, also forgot to mention, may have seen at the end of the time lapse. We found a collectible, hence why we're at 117 grand. So yeah, where did I find it to? It was like somewhere over here here somewhere along one of these two fields. I think it was this one here. Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I found a collectible, and that was the last one for that category, so. We received a bonus for that of have a collectible set because obviously, yeah, individually they only worth such amount. 
but I didn't realize they're so desirable for a full set, so and that's why we got them done it, it's just Hey, there's a demand for it, so if they me gets be getting the money, it'll be someone else and I'd rather be that someone than some stranger finding those precious collectibles. Goes get all backed up. Lower it. Get all turned on. And there we go. Try to get out of the hedges if we can. But yeah, this was definitely worth it. We made the correct decision. Yep, grass field. Maybe you should plant the crop in here perhaps. Maybe, just maybe, but for the first year on the farm, what we need to do is really get things cracking along. We need to see over our first year of how the cows are doing. And obviously, if it goes alright, may get more cows or more cow pastures than that on other land, like I know. Steinbridge Farms just down there. It's got a cow pasture or a cow barn, should I say? I know the home farm just around the corner from our actually where we started off with on this series. They've got some cow pens and even bigger cow pens than we've got. So, whilst we can only hold 50 here, those other ones can do like a hundred. So. Uh, again, that's an option for us, but at the moment we are nowhere in place and really be a full time dairy farmer. It's not for us now. Oops, some rocks here we've missed. This is sort of definitely wear out the equipment a certain amount. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's just be careful, be precise for our controls. Not hit any pylons. There we go. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing here. But yeah, I'm not sure how much seed is going to consume in the end of it. It's going down alright. I can't recall whether or not this was filled up to start off with. I don't think so, it was, but. Anywho, even if we ran out of seeds and that. We got obviously a full tank full with seeds, so we can always just fill it out there. But, anyways, we need to get this done. And once again, it looks like we're going to be working into the night since it's the last week in July. And I want to get the grass in and rolled so we can get a cut in September and one final cut in November. First, yeah, if we have a look here, grass starts stops growing in November. So yeah, that's that's gonna be the case for us. It's what it is that. But anyways, we will get this all done. Got the roller somewhere. I think we we'll need to make sure it's on the correct roller as well. But yep, it looks like I'm going to be doing the late shift again. But yeah, it comes with the territory at times. But anyways, I'll get this all done. As we're just about to complete the headlands. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And there we go, so made a little stop gap here as we are running into the night. Sun, as you see, is just about to set over the hills in Banwell. Um, we got the 830 out. We got to wait for the worker. But yeah, worker, they're doing their own thing. Just to get the rest of this seeded. Shouldn't take too long. Oh yeah, it needs lime as well, don't it? Yeesh. Oh, do we have the lime spreader? I think we do, do we? Oh yeah, we do, yeah. For a moment I thought we didn't have one, so... What we'll do is, before we roll, we will lime. However... Well, actually, yeah, we should do that now, really, shouldn't we? So, you know what? Let's go and do that instead, so... I do want to fold it. Come on, let's quickly detach because I want to get as much of this done before light phase. Because if we get the line down and then we start rolling, then we can see where we have been. Also, put the beacons off, We're not on public highways, so. Uh, do not leave it in here, hopefully. Yes, I have. But yeah, the 830, definitely an addition to the farm, but we still need a new tractor now, and whether or not we decide, last thing, whether or not we decide to retire the 930 here, you know, set it for what we can. I don't know, because looking at it, what's that, a quarter, barely? Well, no, a third. It's a third. Just looking at that. But yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm him and I'm in and I'm debating. That doesn't need lime, it's just the other feel that needs lime. So it could be in the way with the worker, unfortunately, but. I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't know. And the more months we leave it on, the more it depreciates in value because of age and that. And the more hours we put behind it, again, that doesn't help with value as well. So yeah, it's really, I don't know. I generally don't know what to do. Should we retire it? Should we even just keep it? Even if we just keep it and, you know, get a new tractor and that, then perhaps, but... Oh, that's going to be a tough decision for us to do, but... It's one of the things that's needed to be done, especially if you want to do Heston Bells and that. Straw and hay, because remember, even though we could technically wrap size bells and that, at the moment with our current setup, that's really only for contract work, so we can have Keep the Fent one for doing contracts. Next we would get the Heston Bader, we can get a wrapper. Then we should just wrap those bells, perhaps, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. If we get something on lease now, if we get like, that massive deal... Even if it's just on a lease to buy purchase, you know, have like a three year lease on it. And then eventually, over time, make our regular payments and that. Then, yeah, maybe. Just maybe be able to do that. But yeah, it was definitely worth putting the line down to need this, especially for that yield bonus. And we're all about that delicious bonus, so. Sun has officially set it almost. It's still see a little bit over Banwell Hills. But yeah, I think definitely isn't like now, so. Rather than time lapse or record anything. We'll get most of this done on camera now, and then we'll skip to the morning where we're done. But yeah, can't wait for that update to come out for Core Farm. Sent to testing, and now waiting testing. 
have looked at the tests in this as I'm recording this as part of the episode on Monday. Started it on Saturday and that was hoping to get it done. But just with the weekend, bike club stuff. Didn't really oh, matter in the end. Couldn't couldn't get it done. And Sunday was just as you get back and recover and that. Recover from a little bit of a hangover and that after riding back. Get some rest, put feet up, and I start a kebab as you do now. And a bit of cold pizza as well, that always helps with hangovers. Because it's fact that cold pizzas work with hangovers, so... But yeah, work is doing its thing. A bit weird it's going on a diagonal angle, but I guess I'm just based on GPS coordinates and that, so... As long as the job gets done, I'm not complaining. As long as there's no patches that's been missed, which we've checked on the other field already, and there's no patches that's been missed. But yeah, just look at like we are consuming it. Because without stone crusher light production, it's a one to two ratio, so it crushes the stone with addition of water and that and other chemical processes perhaps then that's how you're able to get that one to two ratio rather than actually losing stone compared to other ways of doing it perhaps but yeah I don't know the process I just wax it in manage it with what I need to do and I don't focus on the fine details so yeah we'll get this done and I'll see you folks in the morning And good morning, we are done with the rolling and all that good stuff to grass and currently that field is expecting a 100% yield bonus so that is good. And we've got the combine out so that means we've got harvesting to do and not as much I don't think in terms of contracts at the moment but we've got our own field to harvest and also as you see, 10% on 94, that is for a seeding contract. So if we have a look here, 94, sowing of canola, got to work on that. And we've got a contract on 53, which, funny enough, is just across from our grass field. So, is there a way from the farm to get access to 53, or do you have to go for like 56 and that? So. Up here to the grass fields. Alright, yeah, just head to the grass fields. So, we got to go back around through here along the path to 56. And that's when we get to 53. But also, it's time to harvest our own crop as well because both canoe fields are ready to harvest. So, uh, actually, during access to either of them. Also our linseed, wait a minute, 109, 59 and 57, is that linseed in 107? Got to check a I think that was it. Yeah, 57 is linseed, so we got a lot of work to do. So yeah, just double checking. Yep, so linseeds and our canoe fields are ready to harvest, so to get access, so got 57 here, so down the track from the cow shed. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a tight turn. May need to get a tractor and to the header over to get access to that. Then to 59 go through here onto the pastures on the home farm but currently they got no animals or no actually it's not a pasture it's just grass field so yeah we can cut through make sure we get permission for the farmer there and then get this done and again to access 109 
either through the gate on the road here or through the home farm. Which, again, may get permission for that, but worst case scenario, just come up here, down the path, wherever you've got a side on that too, over here, and just quite that down there. So yeah, that is a lot of work we got to do ahead of us. And if we get contracts in, I will do a lot of them. Things like 95 will do, 111 especially. Because things like, yeah, if 41, 111, 34, 2 and 20 pop up, we'll do those fields because they are big fields. And also, our field beans are on the last growth state. So, yeah, have a look. September is the game there for that. But of course, we've got four weeks to do it, of course, in the month. So, don't have to get everything done within this week. But, if we can do it, then we will. Oops, oh no. Headers come off the trader. I did have a sense that was happening, it was going to happen just because of well, the nature of my driving style. There we go. Yeah, looks like we may need to get. No, 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 managed. No, no, we're not stuck. Got the pipe stuck. Ugh, ah, come on. I don't scrape this too much. Let's get out there. We're steering ain't really doing us much favour at the moment. Come on. Actually, since we're here, do we just cut down here? Come on, not, not in a good position. Come on, don't get stuck. There we go. Don't see what awesome power this thing out. Come on, just go left. You know what? Do it this way. There we go, we're free. Now there's nothing stopping us. So we've got 57 over here to do. And I think. We will do that in the next episode, so as we get ready to start harvesting, we could try to do our own crops first. Untouch that. Don't get bogged down. Come on, out, out, come on, power, power, power. Free wheeling it up. But yeah, as I was saying, we'll do that in the next episode, so. A lot of work ahead of us, but overall, it'll be worth it. Get our own rapeseed out. There we go. And also, we get canoe straw, so straw swath is enabled. That's making sure we get canoe straw. Yes, we are so. Maybe it's time to get the Massey. We need to find our way to get another 100 grand or so. Or whatever it was. 200 grand we need for the tractor and bather. Maybe at least the buy option is needed for us, but. I mean, is this the Lindsay field? Oh, this is the Lindsay we're doing, not rape seeds. Well, anywho, we're still getting straw from the Lindsay seat, so... But yeah, as I was saying, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for those you to do, thanks for watching. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Evolution Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.